guys, this is Laura and welcome back to my channel! You made it again! Yes! Well, for today's video, I'm going to give you some tips on mental health and on how to stay positive. So, if you want to know how that turns out, then keep on watching. Guys, I know it's been a while. It's six months later and you want to know where I was. So I was recuperating a lot for because of my mental health and because I was feeling totally overwhelmed by everything. So I had to take a break from YouTube. A well deserved break from YouTube because I was feeling overwhelmed by everything and I was thinking that my emotional capacity wasn't able to go on with it and I had to recuperate a lot and I had to overcome some struggles that I had experienced and also with the aspect of the situations that's going on in, in the world right now it's very difficult to stay positive and very it's very challenging to stay positive nowadays because with everything that's going on in the world it's very very difficult right now and and with this video I want to give you some tips on how to stay positive and how to have a positive outlook on life so with this video I want to give you that my first and foremost tip is to obtain positivity. I know that positivity is key to everything, of course. Positive outlook on life with a positive vision, everything seems more easier and seems more enhanced in your life. So I think that's a main part of obtaining positivity. But the question is, how do you obtain that positivity? For instance, think of the people that you love, cherish, and care for. Think about the feelings that they wake up in you and reminisce about the feelings in how you feel about them. Do you feel happy? Do they wake up feelings of appreciation, love, and support towards you? Whether it's from a friend, family member, even a pet animal, if that's the case, just think about the feelings and emotions that they wake up in you. I think that's an optional way to obtain that positivity. Also, a good thing to do is to have a gratitude journal. Write everything down, what you're grateful for, and, and read it when you're feeling sad or feeling down. Read your gratitude journal to have a clearer vision of what you love and what you appreciate and what you care for and for the people that you care for appreciate and love of course because love is the only way to obtain sort of positivity to make your life more enhanced for it that's tip number one tip number two is to maintain that positivity once you obtain that positivity within yourself you have to maintain it. It's very much encouraged to do things that you love to do. For instance, if you like to read, read a book. If you like to draw, draw some drawings or pictures or anything else. Do the things that you love to do because it makes you more productive. It strengthens you mentally, of course. It strengthens you and it occupies your time to concentrate on a certain activity that you're into. I think that's a good way to occupy your time with. It's also important to have faith and strength within you, to have hope and clarity about your own future and about the things you love and the things that you appreciate in life. Do activities that you love to do. For me, I would like to go outside, go in nature, walk in parks. I like to draw. Uh, I like to read. I like to I like to listen to music, of course. And I like to do anything that involves my creative endeavors. So, that are the things that I love to do and 
what I'm innate to do, what I feel that gives me life, that gives me a passion to go forward and not feeling stuck in my own head. And I know that, I, I've struggled with that before. My third tip is to think that everything will get better eventually. Maybe you might not see it right now. Maybe you might think that. Everyone struggles with their own feelings, with their own emotions. However, have a thought process with the thought of that everything will get better eventually. Gradually, over time, when time goes by, everything will get better. I promise you, I've been in that situation before. Everything that involves your mental health, that it will get better eventually, I promise you. So with the thought process that everything will get better, is to allow your mind to succumb with the flow of the universe and be in the moment with everything. My fourth tip is to meditate. What I like to do is meditate a lot. I meditate in my own safe space and attempt to meditate whatever place you're comfortable in. What I like to do is I meditate on my bed, let my mind go elsewhere and just close my eyes and just focus on my breathing. That's what I like to do. Just focus on your breathing, focus on your breathing and relax and let your mind and thoughts bring you to another place of peace, love, comfort and appreciation. My fifth tip and last tip of all, most importantly, talk about it. Talk about your feelings, talk about your thoughts, Talk about your mental health to someone, to someone who you trust, who you love, appreciate and care for. It's so imperative to be open and talk about our emotions and feelings. There's no shame into disclosing how we feel, how we perceive everything in life. There's no shame. Talk about it to someone. Talk about everything that seems to go in your mind. And just remember that you're not a burden. Talk to someone about your mental health. We don't have to stigmatize our own emotions. We don't have to stigmatize our own feelings that we have. We are all valid in our own ways. We're valid. Our mental health is valid. So talk about it. It's so imperative to be more open about these subjects in life and to talk about your mental health. If you don't talk about it, then it becomes really, really challenging. So importantly to mention is to seek help. Go to a psychologist, go to a therapist if you need help. Go to someone who you trust, go to your confidant because our mental health is so important. Our emotions are so important in life. Talk about your own feelings, talk about your own mental health to enhance your life more. We're valid in our own ways and it shouldn't be stigmatized because talking about your mental health and disclosing how you feel about everything is the most courageous thing someone could ever do in their lives because you're not afraid of being vulnerable. Being vulnerable is something to be reckoned with. To be vulnerable is a rare ability to disclose to someone. And I think that's the most courageous thing someone could ever do in their lives, being vulnerable. That's what I like to think. I hope you get something out of this video and I hope you took something out of this video and I hope this may help you in your future in how you cope with your own mental health and how you stay positive that's it for the video i love you guys and care about you and appreciate you all i hope this helped you out and gave you a more enhanced look on life and a more positive look on life of course i hope this is a way for you to cope with your own mental health and to cope with your own thoughts and feelings if this video helped you in any sorts of way if you feel like you took something out of it if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future you can always subscribe to my channel if you want to no obligation to it and i hope you all to see you guys in my next video i love you all and appreciate you all see you next time bye